Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel The Navy Guy. We hope everyone is doing well during this lockdown. So today we'll talk about unit 1.2 of inter introduction to internal combustion engines. That includes the following topics that are cycles, timing diagrams, difference between two stroke and four stroke engines. To understand these topics very easily, you need to go through our previous videos. Do hit that like button before getting started. So let's get started. Before getting started, we must be aware of the fact that how large the marine engines are. Hence, to prove that fact, let me show you a picture of this man standing with the marine internal combustion engine. Hence, it is proved that how large marine internal combustion engines are. So our first topic is cycles. A cycle is a sequence of processes that involve transfer of heat and work in or out of the system. Our first cycle is auto cycle, also known as constant volume cycle. There are two graphs shown below. First one is of pressure versus volume and second one is of temperature versus entropy. So let's talk about the processes involved. From zero to one, charging of fresh air till point 0.1 takes place. From 1 to 2, air is compressed isentropically that is at constant entropy. From 2 to 3, heat is added at constant volume that is why it is called constant volume cycle. From 3 to 4, air is expanded isentropically. From 4 to 1, heat is rejected at constant volume. Now let's talk about next cycle that is diesel cycle or constant pressure cycle. Let's talk about the processes involved in the cycle. From 0 to 1 charging of fresh air till point 0.1 takes place. From 1 to 2 air is compressed isentropically. From 2 to 3 Heat is added at constant pressure that is why it is called a constant pressure cycle. From 3 to 4 air is expanded isentropically. From 4 to 1 heat is rejected at constant volume. Now let's talk about dual cycle. It is called dual cycle because it is a combination of both auto cycle and diesel cycle. Let's talk about the processes involved in the cycle. From 0 to 1, charging of fresh air takes place till point 1. From 1 to 2, air is compressed isentropically. From 2 to 3, heat is added at constant volume. From 3 to 4, remaining heat added is at constant pressure. So it is a combination of both constant volume and constant pressure. From 4 to 5, air is expanded isentropically. And from 5 to 1, heat is rejected at constant volume. Now let's talk about the next cycle that is actual cycle. From the actual cycle is slightly different from the theoretical cycle in the following manner. From 1 to 2, the curve is similar to the compression stroke. From 2 to 3, compression is not done under constant volume because the piston is already moving during the stroke. It is not completely adiabatic because heat transfer is some of the heat transfer takes place through the liner. From 3 to 4, during expansion stroke, there is heat transfer. And from 4 to 1, heat is rejected with changes in mass flow, specific heat, lower pressures and temperatures. Now let's talk about how actual cycle is deviated from the theoretical cycle. Of course, there will be thermal, hydraulic and mechanical losses. Manner in which rate at which heat is added to the compressed air is a complex function of fuel injection equipment. The compression and expansion strokes are not truly adiabatic. Some of the heat is lost to the cylinder liner. 
some of the useful work is expended to perform induction and exhaust process action arising out of reciprocating rotating rubbing components also contribute to losses and some of the energies utilized by auxiliaries like lube oil pumps jacket water pumps etc let's move on to our next topic that is timing diagrams a diagram depicting opening and closing of walls of ports is a timing diagram let's talk about the timing diagram of two stroke cycle two strokes that means two strokes of the piston which is piston going up plus piston going down piston going up means compression and piston going down means expansion this whole completes one revolution which gives one power stroke as the name implies the cycle is in two strokes of the pi piston that is the compression which includes scavenging and suction stroke and the power which includes expansion and exhaust stroke these actual timings differ from engine to engine with respect to design construction such as bore to stroke ratio engine rpm rating ratio of connecting rod length to crank length etc now let's talk of the processes involved at zero scavenge ports are open from zero to one air is sucked in which pushes out the residual exhaust gases in the cylinder at one piston is at bdc that is bottom dead center from one to two completion of scavenge processes takes place and fresh air is filled inside the cylinder for combustion at two scavenge ports are closed from two to three post scavenging takes place at three exhaust valve closes from three to four compression of air takes place at four injection of fuel commences at five fuel injection keeps commencing near tdc at six fuel injection and combustion completes from six to seven expansion of heat energy from combustion takes place which is converted into work energy to push the piston downwards at 7 exhaust valve opens and from 7 to 0 blow down of exhaust gases takes place which results in drop of pv diagram now let's understand this by an example of the timings at inlet that means scavenge ports open 42 degree before bottom dead center inlet valve closes 42 degrees after bottom dead center exhaust valves open 75 degrees before bottom dead center and closes 60 degree after bottom dead center injection starts at 16 degrees before tdc and the injection ends at 20 degrees after tdc now let's understand this cycle using a animation of ma and b and w engines <laughs> The PV diagrams are also known as indicator card diagrams which are drawn using indicator instrument. We will learn about these in our further videos. Now let's talk about the timing diagram of four stroke cycle. Four strokes that means four strokes of the piston which is two times the piston goes up and piston goes down one complete power stroke is given by two complete revolutions a four stroke engine operating cycle is completed in four strokes of the piston which are suction or induction stroke compression stroke power or expansion stroke and exhaust stroke 
Now let's talk about the processes in the timing diagram. At 1, inlet valve opens. From 1 to 2, suction stroke happens. At 2, inlet valve closes. From 2 to 3, compression happens. At 3, fuel injection begins and ends at 4. From 4 to 5, expansion stroke. At 5, exhaust valve opens. And from 5 to 6, ex exhaust stroke is completed. An example of four stroke valve timing is as shown in the figure. Inlet valve opens 20 degrees before TDC and closes 60 degrees after BDC. Injection begins 10 degrees before TDC and ends 12 degrees after TDC. Exhaust opens 42 degrees before BDC and closes 60 degrees after TDC. Now we'll clear our understanding more using the following and Now we'll talk about some differences between two-stroke and four-stroke marine diesel engine. First, we'll see the visual differences. In case of a two-stroke engine, scavenge manifold will be at lower height due to the presence of scavenge ports. And in case of four-stroke engines, it will be at a good height. In a two-stroke engine, rocker arm, inlet valve and a complex design of lube oil and cooling water system is absent. In fact, a simple design is present. There is a light and small size of flywheel due to evenly distributed forces over crankshaft in case of a two-stroke engine. And in case of a four-stroke engine, the size and weight of the flywheel is large. The size of the engine for a two-stroke engine is big for a given power and is of low speed. Whereas in four-stroke engine, size is small for a given power and is high speed. The cylinder head assembly of two-stroke engine is different from the four-stroke engines due to the absence of inlet valves. In case of a four-stroke engine, cylinder he head is equipped with an inlet valve. Now we'll talk about some other differences like fuel consumption is more in two-stroke engines. There is more turning of crankshaft since two idle strokes of four-stroke engine are not present in two-stroke engine. In the two-stroke engine, two power strokes take place every two revolutions, while in four-stroke engine, only one power stroke takes place every two revolutions. Four-stroke trunk piston engines have an advantage of requiring less headroom than two-stroke crosshead engines. In marine applications, two-stroke engines are used in low-speed, high-powered diesel main propulsion while four stroke engines are used in medium speed power generation so that's all for today we hope to see you next time do watch our other videos and hit that subscribe button